So hello and welcome to the little garden grow tent. About a month ago I had started a couple more cucumbers from seed using the cracky setup method and as you can see they are really flourishing here. I've got little baby cucumbers coming. This is the mini me. Over here is the Socrates and as you can see there is a nice size cucumber coming here. I'm hoping that this is means it's going to live and keep growing. I've had a big issue this winter with my cucumbers flowering then just dying. So I'm going to try a different method here today that I want to share with you on how to change out the nutrients in your crack. Now traditionally a cracky system setups is supposed to be just kind of a one-time deal where you set up the the nutrients in it and just leave it for its whole lifespan that hasn't worked well for me i find with these longer growing plants that you know grow for months and months you have to keep topping up the the nutrient water which i usually do i start off with a just a seedling blend so it's a mild blend for seedlings and as they grow and start to bloom i change up my nutrient blend to that blooming and flowering stage. So the way I've been doing it is just mixing up a new batch and just topping up the existing nutrient water, which isn't great. And over time it becomes, you know, not so clean. It's got algae growing in it. The roots aren't super healthy. An example of that would be my tomato plant that has been growing here since last October you can see that its roots are not great the water isn't super um, clean but it has been working but I think with my cucumbers here I'm going to try something a little different because I have so many of these Folgers containers I am going to fully replace the nutrients with a new container that's been cleaned and with a new batch of nutrients at that blooming and flowering stage and uh, switch it out here and I think that way the roots will stay a little cleaner and hopefully this will create a stronger plant and I will get a better harvest of cucumbers than I did from my first round. The plants are looking pretty healthy. I can see the edges of the leaves are starting to turn a little yellow. I think there's a bit of a deficiency there so we're going to be mixing up our nutrients with some CalMeg as well. So I'll show you how that's done and then we will switch these out. So the three part nutrient system that I'm going to be using today is the general hydroponics. So that is the micro, the flora, the bloom, and we're also going to be adding some Kelly magic. So that gives that some extra calcium and magnesium. So the chart on here is set up for a one gallon or four liter jug measurement. So this vinegar jug works perfect for that. Then it gives you measurements here that I can use this five mil spoon for easily of how much micro grow and bloom needs to go into this mixture. So you always want to make sure everything is shook up really good. We're starting off with the micro and it calls for 10 mils of that to start with. So I have this five mil measuring spoon that works good here. And then I also give my jug a good shake in between each. Five mils of the grow. In the bloom, because we are in the blooming stage, this one has usually got a little bit of a higher uh, measurement and this is calling for 15 mils And then the last thing we're adding here is the CalMag, which also gives you a measurement based on a one gallon container, which is five mils. So 
So our nutrient water is all mixed up and I've got two clean containers here ready to fill. I'm just gonna split this up 50-50 into these two and that should be enough for the roots of the cucumbers to easily get into that nutrient water. Okay, so I have my two new jugs of nutrient water ready to switch out here. And because my cucumbers are already, you know, attached to this uh, netting here, it's not real easy. But so this is the benefit of having these similar containers and having a lot of them on hand. This is an easy process to do. So if you have the same kind of containers for all your cracky setups, so you can see here the roots are starting to get a little green algae build up on them and basically I'm just going to put them into their new container of nutrients. As you can see they were getting very low and that water is looking a little dirty and mucky so hopefully this will make the cucumbers happier and we'll see some good growth and some fruiting happening. So this one's the Socrates, this one was almost dry, they've really started sucking up the water since they started blooming. As you can see it was pretty much dry, so good time, good time to switch it out. So I'm hoping this is going to make a big difference and really help improve you know, the health of the plant and we get some, uh, a good harvest of cucumbers here. So if you have a similar system set up for crack pea where, you know, you have multiple containers that you can switch out easily with the lid and, you know, bring in a fresh, uh, clean container with new nutrients, then I would suggest giving this a try and see if it helps the, the health of your cracky hydroponic plants. So I'm just about to upload my video. It's been two days since I did the change out of the nutrient solution here. I came down just to check out this one particular cucumber and you can see in two days, this thing has almost doubled in size. I took a picture of it two days ago and then here's another view of it today. So it looks like these nutrients, um, you know, are having a positive effect on my cucumbers. There is some more nice ones coming. This is the Socrates. Uh, I got a lot of them blooming coming along here. So I'm hopeful that uh, a lot of these cucumbers are going to survive. And this is the mini me cucumbers here. They aren't quite as big, aren't growing quite as fast, but they look pretty healthy. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a like, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thanks for watching.